City Hall. Hello, everybody. I'm Leah. I'm Matt. Who's Matt? We... Matthew's still on TV. <laughs> we work for Campbell Kane K Mac in Lubbock. Matthew, give us a little briefing on what we're doing right now. Uh, Corona. Corona coverage. Day two. Um, yesterday was what, March 17th. Mm -hmm. And we got our first two cases confirmed of the, the coronavirus. Yeah, one in Lubbock County, one in Hockley County. Well, Terry, the city of Lubbock held a press conference this evening where they told us that those two confirmed cases of the coronavirus are unrelated. And they're also travel cases, meaning that they did not contract the virus in our community. So we're gonna head down there, do a couple live shots. And so believe it or not, we were on the last biggest cities in Texas without the coronavirus. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go. Kelsey, like you mentioned, that press conference is starting at 5.30, but there'll be a press briefing at 5.15, so hopefully that'll give us a little bit of a better idea as to what is going to be discussed tonight. But what we do know is that the city of Lubbock, as well as the Texas Tech University system, will be addressing the growing concerns surrounding the coronavirus in our community. Okay, so we just finished our five o'clock live hit. How'd it go? What'd you say? How'd it go? Went pretty well. Well, good. I so practiced like 10 times and then it, it worked out for And then well. it happened. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and run inside for the press briefing that starts at 5.15, and then we'll have the press conference at 5.30. You wanted to make sure everybody knows, you know, obviously weather permitting, it's okay to go outside. The big concern is just stay away from people. You know, it's beautiful outside. If you want to go outdoors, you're getting a little stir crazy inside your house. That is absolutely, it's perfectly okay to go outside. Just make sure you're keeping your distance from people. That social distancing that we've been talking about so much. We just finished up the press conference. I think kind of the crazy thing about this is, I mean, literally it was like five minutes before the press conference, uh, Catherine with the public health department said she just found out we had a third case. So I think what's really interesting about covering this media-wise is, I mean, it can change on a dime. Like that. It is now 10.38. It's been a little bit since I've talked to y'all because... Since we got back to the station, Matthew and I, we basically had to go through the whole press conference, all the footage, all the information we were given, um, and then write our story or what's known as a package. We had to put the whole package together. Let's be a good neighbor. I think buying just what you need and not, not buying more than you need is very neighborly, and that's, that's, that's the way we are in Lubbock, Texas. I'm going to show you all what my desk looks like right now. This was... Well, it was supposed to be my dinner tonight, but I didn't really get around to it. Some torchies, some queso, I did get around to that. Mirror, makeup to last minute. Do makeup before you go on air. Now we're checking on the other one. Here's Matthew. Matthew, give us an update of your evening tonight. Oh, man. It is <laughs> um, 10.40. What I'm doing is what I did tonight at 6 and 10, I'm uh, basically preparing it, changing it up, so we can run it in the morning. Okay, so it is now 11.15. Uh, we just wrapped up day two of our coronavirus coverage. So I feel like we're, we're kind of all in this thing together and learning how to adjust to what our new normal is. I mean, every single day there's, there's more places that are getting closed down, more schools that are announcing that they're canceling. Hopefully we can you know, be transparent with y'all and let y'all know a little bit about who we are and what we do and, and why we do it. So there's day two. Thanks for coming along. It is day three of our coronavirus coverage. So far, the plan for today is both of our hospitals here are holding a press conference at 3 p.m. And then there'll be another press conference held by the city again tonight at six we're getting ready to go into our reporter meeting at 145 where we kind of get um our assignments today and everyone kind of figures out what stories we're working on we kind of get a game plan for the rest of the day you about that? chad cross sent a uh, script a script yeah to, to everyone wes is also doing a live tease wes is also doing a live tease for abbott okay so we just got back to the station from the press conference it's like four i have a live hit at five 
head back to the station, gonna cut video and a sound bite, and then we're gonna run back out to City Hall. They'll be talking about those restrictions that Governor Greg Abbott announced today on restaurants and bars, and they'll also be talking about that third confirmed case of the coronavirus in Lubbock. Reporting from City Hall, I'm Leah Doherty, KLBK News. We really got our shot up at like what time? Like two minutes before. Two minutes before we hit air, P, the rock star over here, Got our live shot up, so now it's 5.06, we're done with my live shot, but our next thing doesn't start till 5.45. That's right, Terry, the health department says they will actually be interviewing that third patient tomorrow morning. Now, what we do know is that they are between 40 and 50 years old, traveled out of the country. Plan as of now is I will be anchoring tomorrow on Friday. We kind of heard that there might be a couple more confirmed cases here in Lubbock and that there was going to be another press conference. So they called in our anchor. I'm now moving to Nightside, so I'm here outside of City Hall once again waiting for another press conference. <laughs> options that would be available in our community that began yesterday, such as the drive-up clinic at University Medical Center. They're giving us kind of these sheets every single time we come in. Let me see, there we go. It kind of talks about how many cases we have, uh, the exposure if they traveled out of the country, the age range, where the person lives, what county it's in. So this is our audio tracking booth. So once you get done going through all your footage and writing your story, here's my script right here. Then we come in here, do what's called tracking. It's basically just uh, voicing over the story. And then we'll go back into the edibase and put it all together. Three, two. Starting tonight at midnight, Lubbock will fall in line with Governor Abbott's executive order. We do know that this new fifth case, the patient is between 15 to 25, and this investigation is ongoing. So I'm going to um, clip my story that just aired, post it online, then go get some sleep, and we'll do it all again tomorrow. I'm in line at Chick-fil-A right now at the drive-thru because I can't go inside, which is crazy. So getting some food from Chick-fil-A, and then I'm going to head over to our station. I know they deep cleaned everything this morning. Um, and so I will be producing and anchoring our six and ten newscasts. Thank you. Five fifty-three, heading into studio to get mics, get situated. Oh, this is super cool. Before the show starts, what's up, guys? Leah, mic check one, two, three, four, five, six. Leah, mic check one, two, and I won't be in IFB. Five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight on KLBK. I'm Leah Gordy. Now, before we go, I just wanted to personally say thank you to every first responder, doctor, nurse, volunteer, truck driver, grocery store workers, really anyone whose job doesn't allow them to work from home, and they've had to step up this week to keep us safe and keep essential supplies on the shelves. I'm leaving for the night and for the weekend. I will see you guys back on Tuesday for another full week. Anyways, I hope everyone has a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll be back with another one next week.